The PlayStation 2 is home to an insane amount of racing games, but it's also home to a large selection of rally games, many of which do differ in terms of quality. And many of the games mentioned do take a lot of inspiration looking back from the early PS1 days when you had the likes of V-Rally and even the iconic Colin McRae Rally. But that game in itself spawned a whole different type of genre that reflected the real rally events in real life. And it would only be a matter of time before the WRC World Rally Championship would get in on this craze to develop their own series of games for consoles. And while the PlayStation did have its own version of WRC with WRC Arcade, it would be the PlayStation 2 that would become home to the entirety of the series moving forward and then would later adapt onto the PlayStation 3, 4 and even currently on the PlayStation 5. But in this video we are taking a look at WRC 3 that was released in late 2003, early 2004 in different regions for the PS2 and I have covered the first two WRC games previously on the channel I'll make sure to drop links down below in the description and here on screen so that you can go and check them out and with this being the third entry in the series while it did receive decent but yet at the same time mixed to average reviews in some cases it was still an evolution of the franchise and took a lot of what was really good about the previous two games and just adapted it just that little bit further with smoother graphics faster gameplay more cars that were more notable and that reflect the time period the game was released on with different tracks and accompanying all of the rallies from the official 2003 WRC calendar event. So if you are a fan of rally games you will feel right at home here. It has a perfect blend and balance of simulation but yet it has a mixture of arcade style elements thrown into it so that you can really adapt to the fast paced nature of the gameplay and it is a lot of fun. So if you love driving around in the likes of the Subaru Impreza, the Mitsubishi Lancer, even with the smaller cars as well with the likes of the Skoda Fabia among others, this will definitely be the game for you as with the previous two games in the series this here is more of the same but it's just evolved slightly and there would be later sequels with WRC 4 and WRC Rally evolved later on the PlayStation 2 there would also be equally good games in their own right also and I will cover them in future videos so with this game you get access to 17 drivers from seven different teams all across the WRC championship all from within the 2003 season so the game has you racing around a variety of different environments both tarmac based and off-road with gravel style tracks even mud like when you go into the likes of the UK with Wales and so forth or even other countries the difference in the terms of the handling physics change depending on the surfaces that you race on but you also have access to a load of different customization options with the use of tyre choices and suspension setups and they will all help to differ the play style depending on your control preferences they will all alter pretty much how the car feels as you play but you will find a play style that would suit your own preferences. The one cool aspect with these type of games, even if we look back to the likes of earlier games seen on the PS1 with the likes of Colin McRae Rally and so forth, the rally games were brilliant with the steering wheel accessories. I remember going back, I had the Mad Cat's steering wheel and I remember I used to play Colin McRae Rally 1 with that game and it was absolutely brilliant with that. And it's no different here on the PlayStation 2 with these WRC games. If you have access to the likes of a steering wheel peripheral, you will have a blast playing these games as they are very quite frantic and just all out a lot of fun to play. While many would consider this to not be the best rally game on the PlayStation as there is a multitude of them out there but I in my own personal opinion definitely consider it to be among the top rally games on the system. My first experience with this was through a demo. I remember one of the local retail or game stores that was in the area close to where I grew up were given access to demos if you bought like another game or another item in the store and they were given away pretty much like kind of like a free playable level or demo CD that was like a limited edition kind of thing and that was a case back then to promote games developers were giving away access to certain development demos and so forth which was really really cool and I remember getting my hands on it and going home and playing it and it was in like a cardboard sleeve like cover and I remember playing that game a ton there was like two different tracks on it and you got to play as the Subaru Impreza and I had an absolute blast and I remember I could not believe how good the handling characteristics and physics were in the game it was so fast paced 
that I, I enjoyed playing the game that much that I played it over and over and over again and I'd always keep trying to beat my initial time and overall score and that was the best part of it for me was the fact is that it felt like a purebred rally experience where you were constantly trying to improve at every possible stage and turn on each track once you familiarise yourself with the track you would always keep pushing and pushing and pushing to see how fast you could go to see if you could beat your previous times so that's what made it a lot of fun now I never got round to buying the original game but there were many opportunities in which I wanted to do it I just never got the chance to do it and I do regret it in some ways because I know I would have enjoyed it because I played that demo an absolute ton but even going back now to getting to play the game all these years later I have to say it's as good as I remember regardless of what reviews say in the magazines I still think that this is one of the best rally games that you can play on the PlayStation 2 hands down. It's just so much fun, there's so much appeal to the game. It has great visuals and graphics, a real good use of different types of camera angles with different views like in-car views, cockpit views, out-car, bonnet views but even the replays are something to behold as they're very cinematic and very reflective of like something you'd see nearly in a movie the quality of the camera angles and the style is really really good it's very professional almost as good as what you'd see in real tv during that time and the fact is that they were doing this all the way back on the ps2 was truly special in many ways so it is a phenomenal title. For me it is definitely one of the best racing games on the PS2 hands down. Now people might differ with that and that's okay. Everybody's opinions are different. But for me personally it was one of the games, even though I only just really played a demo more so than anything else. But from that experience alone I knew myself how good the full game was going to be. And it is everything or as bit as good as I thought it was. And still is, even to this day. It's just so much fun. And even when we look at the replays as well, even though you think you're not driving that great, but the replay has a distinct ability to make your driving look at least good or halfway decent which is always good so it is a lot of fun if you're in for a truly unique rally experience and you want something different but yet that offers a bit of realism but also an arcade kind of feel to it that is just fast paced and generally a lot of fun WRC 3 or any of the games in the WRC series on the PlayStation 2 are definitely worth a try in my book for sure they're a great series of games overall and definitely among some of the best racing games ever on any system in all respects so I'd love to know your thoughts of this unique game and what you thought of it overall or how did you actually play the game did you play it on a demo originally like I did or did you have the original game and if so did you put a lot of hours into it and enjoy it for what it offered whatever stories you do have i'd love to hear them so be sure to share it in the comments below and if you would like to see more content around other unique rally games that were also released on the ps2 then leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and you can also check out this playlist that will look at more of those games so that you can see them in action and i will see you all in the next one